I am mopping, cleaning up a little bit. The family is back in town for a few days and I try to pick up before they come back over and like do a little bit of mopping. And Smoothie King. Smoothie King. Oh, this thing is huge. I'm gonna say hi to the vlog. What's up? I got Smoothie King $5 Friday. $5 Friday. It's, bit, it's 32 ounces too. I got the peanut power chocolate. I got some like berry warrior or something other. Zach loves berry. What's funny is I love the chocolate, but mm, I think these ones are really like high in calories, high in fat and high in all of that, but. It's like a protein one or a workout one or something like that. I forget what it's called. We're gonna go work out at four. Um, so I'm gonna get this. And it gives a couple hours to kind of settle. But I like to, I already have like my workout gear on sometimes when I'm really trying to get back into fitness. I put my workout gear on in the morning so that I go work out. I feel like it really helps me get into the gym. I put it on two minutes before we have to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're kind of opposite in that way. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. I ordered this cutting board. So I feel like we need more cutting boards. Ones that we can use. I have a few vintage ones and I don't really use those ones. So I ordered this one from Amazon. I was actually, I did my little bar video and I was looking for barware on Amazon and I saw this board and I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I bet it would patina really nicely. See, let me cut it open. But it is so stinking cute. I bet you could probably make one of these too. If you are savvy with making things at home, it wasn't, it really wasn't that expensive, so maybe it's not worth the trouble. But look how cute this is. It's like nice and big too. And I thought it would patina really nicely. The board said to put a little bit of olive oil on it, or excuse me, vegetable oil. So I lathered it with vegetable oil and it says to do it again in 24 hours. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, this is a really good lamp for $45 and it's massive. It's the Hearth and Hand collection. It's like a gray, some wood details, and like a linen lampshade, but this is a good one. Hey, they have the pot. You guys saw that I bought this and I put my utensils in it, but it's actually a planter pot, so I'll link it down below. But it's I did not know it was Studio McGee when I bought it, but it's only $20 and it's so cute. It's like those vintage pots that I get, but definitely way more affordable. And then I saw this one. This is also only $20 and I thought this was super cute. And then they have this big one right here, but I can't decide if I want this one or the big one. Here's the size difference. These are super cute. This is also super cute. It's definitely more of that like farmhouse style, but I like it. Very small. This one's huge on the left. It's $45, it's such a great deal. These are really cute if you can't, if you like don't have a tree outside, 
These are nice big branches. Super cute. Okay, this little tiny lamp, it's super small. It looks kind of like wood, but it's definitely not wood. I picture this like in a bathroom on a counter. If you had a lot of room in like your kitchen, this would be really pretty on a kitchen. Or if you have like a foyer, like a bench, this would be super cute on a stack of books. I'll insert some like inspo photos, but oh, I'm so tempted to get this. I just do not have any room. I know it's $40. And I'll link it down below for you guys, but it is so cute. This is cute. $20. Super pretty. Okay, I do like these pillows as well. But they, they're coming off way more green. They're a little bit more blue. Like they have like the green leafing. But they're blue but they definitely are not like down or have much luxury, like they don't have much of a luxury feel to them. But I don't know how much they are. Let's see. I don't know where you find the price. Hmm. Oh, that print though. It's cute. I feel like I would get over it really quickly. Okay, then they have these. These remind me of Pottery Barn. So if you kind of like that kind of look, these are really affordable as well. But I like a little bit more of like the organic kind of lived in look, but these are kind of cute. Cute, but they had a little like soap stand. Oh, Zaki. You're so handsome. Oh, whatever. You are. You're funny. Where, what were you looking at? Just clearance stuff. I'm gonna You're see so if they have tall. any like snacks. Snacks? I don't know. I need a snack. <laughs> we're at Home Goods and he's looking for snacks. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I've seen these a couple of times and I love them. I don't know why I don't get them. They're Tommy Bahama. $30, but for a barware, super, super cute. $40 for this Vogue book. I, of course, have to see what it looks like without. It's actually pretty good. Vogue is one of my favorites. I've always loved Vogue. Okay, this vessel is pretty good too. I've seen a couple people share this vessel. My thing about home goods is that you can get so caught up in like the good deals that you have to be extremely picky. There's some more books under here. Let's see if it's anything I want. It's cute. The Audrey Hepburn one is super cute. Super cute for like bookshelf styling. Okay, I always like to look at the cutting boards because like if one looks like it'll like patina really well, you know, like these, if you use them a lot, they'll patina really nicely and you just have them for like 20 years and they'll be so beautiful. <laughs> you gotta be patient. But I do always like to look in here and see what they have. Okay, you guys know my obsession with gold. These are so cute. It's like Pie Server, $3.99. And then this whisk is pretty cute too. Okay, lately I've been really into collecting rolling pins. I don't know why, but I love them. Zach always leaves me. What? <laughs> what are you getting? I want to get that water, but this looks good too, but it might be too crispy for me. I don't like it. 
if it's double baked, it's gonna be super crunchy. Oh yeah. But that sounds kind of interesting, mango jalapeno. You can always find Zach in the food section. Yeah. Ooh, figs. I love figs. I'm gonna get that Voss water. Is it a good deal? Well, it looks good. Are you getting both of them? No. This one just gonna open. Oh. What is it? Water. Just water? <laughs> oh wait, it's tangerine lemongrass. I know. I wanna try it. Are you excited? What? You excited? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. That's fine. You wanna get anything else? No, I kind of want that ser this serving tray right here. I think when we redo the patio. It's huge. I know. We're looking, we're gonna redo the patio for the summer and I think these would be so cute with like bar essentials. Do not sleep on the garden section. I find so many pretty vessels and also they're so affordable that you can like paint them and make them like really the aesthetic that you're going for. Even if you purchase it and it's not exactly what you want, I've painted them before. These are cute. Do you like those? Well, I think like... I don't like those. You don't? They're just not my thing. Yeah. Remind me of Red Robin glasses kind of like that. <laughs> or like margaritas at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Okay, this little stool is really cute for like a little bathroom, $40. Has like the rattan top with like wood. Very affordable way to get that look in the bathroom. Okay, I've always been a fan of like, I call them the medallion chairs, but these chairs, I've always been a fan and they have this cute outdoor one for a hundred dollars. It's so beautiful. I've never grown out of these. I just think that they're so timeless. I love them. Are you catching up on your YouTube videos? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I picked up a few things from Target from the Studio McGee line. And I, it's funny because I, I don't really track the launches or things like that. I just kind of, buy as I like it and this pot that I'm using for our utensils I actually didn't even know it was Studio Mickey I saw this pot at Target I thought it was just threshold and it's actually a part of the Studio McGee line now if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you go do it because I shared it when it launched and so many of you got your hands on this but I shared this pot over on Instagram. It's already sold out, but I will be sharing it on Instagram when it's available again, but so cute. I shared this in a haul. So that was one recent purchase that I got. I got two more items from the Studio McGee launch, and I just got whatever I went to the store and whatever was available. Now, I did kind of like the little bowl that has like the crisscross on the bottom. And I actually saw that when I saw the pot, but I don't need another one of those. And it's a little bit off from my style, so I didn't go for that. And normally I don't, I'm not one to like buy into like impulse purchasing, but there were a few items that I was like, I better get it. With this lamp, I did fall for the impulse. I did fall for the scarcity of not being able to get it because I know the Studio McGee stuff sells out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it, take it home, see if it works in our space. If it doesn't, I'll just return it. I love this little lamp so much. Like it's pretty small, but I thought this lamp would be really cool for, like if you have a bench, I've been noticing a lot of people doing like benches in their foyer or behind their couches or any space like that that's a little bit smaller. I think this lamp is the perfect little touch to add on like a stack of books. I think I originally saw a photo from Kylie Jenner's house where the designer did that in her, like on a bench in her house. So I really like that. I felt like it gave it a little bit more of a homier feeling, but I also thought it would be really pretty if you had space in your kitchen 
to just have a lamp in your kitchen I think it gives it a little it's a different look but it definitely gives it a little bit more of a homier space and for me it looks like a stylus was in here I know it's a little bit different and our kitchen isn't quite big enough for that but I really really love it same like Kind of like if you go to a restaurant and they have lamps throughout like even the kitchen space or the bar space I just thought it gave like a really unique little look or Even like in your bar space if you have one Also in the bathroom. I thought this was so cute. I love lamps in the bathroom I think it gives it a very like restaurant luxury feel it makes it just a, like even better you know what i mean so i picked up this lamp i'll link it down below i don't know if it's still available because it is that studio mcgee line but i if i ever share anything on the vlogs or in my channel i always link them down below for you guys to shop them just in case you want them as well the last thing that i picked up was this glass little jar glass vase she had a tall one and a short one this one was twenty dollars the lamp was 40, I think, and then the utensil holder, which is actually a plant pot, but I put our utensils in it. I got this because I thought that this is just something that I needed. <laughs> I feel like this is something that you could have forever, and I like that it was a little bit shorter. You could put it on your coffee table. You could put it in your kitchen with some florals in it. You could literally use this for so many things. Now, you guys know I have that globe one that I got from West Elm that I love, but I thought this just gave a little bit more of a timeless look, a little, a little less modern, a little bit more timeless. So I picked this up. The last thing that I got that I want to share with you guys is I did share this in the video, but I have to like move back because it's so big. You guys, if you follow especially the home decor videos that I do, I love vintage like Chinese vessels or vintage clay pots. I just think that they you I almost just feel like you can't replicate them. They are just so Beautiful and I do have a few but I'm not gonna lie. They're expensive. So In the vlog I shared oh my gosh you guys it's so massive in the last vlog I shared this Pot from pottery barn. I showed you guys the pot at the store which at the store appeared a little bit more purple but it is like that glaze if you guys are into like vintage pots, it's like the glazed Chinese vessel it was 150 dollars which you know is a, a little bit more but if i were to buy this vintage it would be like this size for that price so i thought that this was an extremely like good price for this pot and i can it's so versatile i could put this anywhere in our home and i really wanted a little bit of glaze i do a lot of matte throughout our house nothing is really shiny and i wanted to bring in that texture so or that finish i love it it's so good you guys don't sleep on this it is gorgeous especially if you like to add that like moodier vibe to your home i am i think i mentioned this before but i'm getting a new rug a new coffee table i'm gonna restain our little like media console in our living room i'm gonna stain it black and i'm gonna kind of play off the dark colors that we have in our living room just because it's a little bit darker in here and I really like that mood. I like a sexier vibe. So this was the perfect addition. Okay, so this is the living space in our apartment right now. Excuse the Target bag in the corner. That is our in-laws. They are in town visiting and that is their things over there. But I wanted to show you, oh my gosh, look how good this pot is. It's so good. And then paired next to some primitive wood Oh, it's so good. So I am going to be staining this black. And then, of course, I want to get a new rug. This one is super stained and just needs to be replaced. And then I do want to get a wood coffee table. I love this one, and I do plan on keeping it for like a closet or something in our house. But I'm kind of ready for a wood one. So that is kind of what I have going on. This is a vintage clay pot that I got, and it's a little bit bigger than the Pottery Barn one, 
but it's this one was three hundred dollars again don't mind the bag <laughs> that's my brother-in-law's but i'm gonna make it like dark and moody in here and i'm excited about it Okay, you guys, we are making Rangoon Gimlets, which is a family favorite. It's basically like a basil lime cocktail with gin. With gin. It's so good. It's so good. Zach is so sleepy. Oh, it's so hard to tell because we have these light pictures. So basically, we shared this citrus juicer, which by far one of our best purchases. Oh. It's so nice, and it's like it's quiet too. I don't know if we've shit like our old one, which we just got at Walmart. It was like ten, fifteen dollars. Yeah. It was so loud and just not the greatest. So basically, you get what you what is what you is get what saying? you pay for. You get what you pay for. Us. Also, we picked up this new cutting board from Amazon, and I seasoned it. You put a little bit of oil on it and then you wait 24 hours put more oil on it this is going to be a really nice and it's so cute it has little like little legs super cute um uh, you made it i forget gin lime lemongrass simple syrup yeah which we just got the lemongrass from the store mm -hmm. cut it up and just brewed it into this yeah, boiled it with the simple syrup. So we do equal parts sugar to water. And then I think obviously we had four lemongrass, right? Yeah. You can also some stores, I'm sure if you go to like a specialty store, but Fries or Kroger used to carry it. Lemongrass paste. Yeah. And I make the simple syrup and then just push, put the paste in it and it works so well. But they don't have it and I didn't have time to go to another store. If I can find a picture online, we'll insert yeah. it in the video so you can see. It's really convenient and nice. But this yeah. works as well. It yeah. looks like green onion almost. Go close, go show close up. There you go. They look go. like green onions or something. Like, obviously, the color is there. But like, and then do you use basil for garnish? No, you, you, um, oh, you muddle, muddle it, it. Wow. yeah. You usually make these. I never make these. They're so good. And they're called a Rangoon Gimlet where like the restaurant that we... So I mentioned this before. We like to go get a new cocktail at a restaurant and then we try to recreate it at home. But this is like your family favorite. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It is so good. If you like lime basil, you have to try this it. This is really a really good, unique drink. Unique, yeah, definitely more unique. And the other thing, yeah, the botanist. Botanist is good in it. This is a little bit more expensive, but we bought Bombay, which I like Bombay. But in this, it kind of was different than like the restaurant because they use, is it Tangare? Tangare. Tangare. Yeah. And I was going to buy it, but I was like, I'll get whatever. Tangare is probably the better one in it. Yeah. Bombay Actually, has I like a unique this, yeah. flavor. No, no, no. Bombay has a unique flavor. Bombay yeah. has a unique flavor. That it didn't, it wasn't bad. No. You could just, you could pick out that flavor in it. This was really good because our first one we did. It's like almost this. like this one you can't t like get the the gin flavoring. Yeah. But Tangare is was, what the restaurant and uses. And it's, it's good. We're using these. I love those glasses. I didn't think I would, and then I'm like, okay. Yeah. Especially in our the pineapple smoke. Cocktail. Yeah. Well, and the the giblets too. Yeah. Well, specifically the pineapple smoke. Well, yeah, that's probably fine. Probably cut off our heads, but that's all right. Okay. So what? Well, you can actually still see my head because I'm so short. So I'm gonna take two basil leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna take these three basil leaves and I'm going to roll them up. Like so. I mean, you might not have to do this. This is just how I do it. And then I'm gonna chop it into small little pieces and just throw it at the bottom of the shaker. 
and muddle it. Just to try to get that basil flavor out of it and you get like little basil chunks in your drink which is actually really yummy. Then I'm gonna take two ounces of gin. We have been liking the botanist the best because you don't get that strong gin flavor. I feel like it is way better. This is just for one drink. So if you're making more than one, make sure you double it, of course, obviously. And personally, I like to do one drink at a time. Whenever I try to double the recipe, I don't know why it just doesn't turn out for whatever reason. It's really weird, huh? Yeah. Then you're gonna do one and a half ounces of fresh lime. Now this is important. When you're doing cocktails, fresh is best. It really, really is. And then you're gonna take one ounce of the lemongrass. So just fill that up halfway. And then I'm gonna add ice. Do the honors? No, you do it. No, you go ahead. No, you're the best. No, you are you're the, the best. best. I love when you do it. If you have a double strainer, that would be ideal, unless you like like little ice chunks or little chunks of the basil. And it's, you guys, it's so good. I'm gonna get a close-up shot of me pouring it because it is so good. But. I like this cutting board. I know, isn't it cute? It Amazon is. Couldn't even believe it. So you'll see like the little chunks of the basil. And the more you muddle it, obviously the more little chunks you'll get. If you don't want that, again, just double strain it, but it is so good. It's good. Go ahead, cutie. Um, I tried it? Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's good. Is it good? It's like really refreshing, I feel like, but it is a sipper. Oh, definitely. You're not gonna sit there and... It's good. It's good. I feel like it could use more of that lemongrass flavor. Should I do like one and a half? No, it's fine. So good. I would say we were good together.